So today we're going to talk about choosing a fly rod, which is kind of a daunting task for a lot of people that are beginning, a little unsure of how to go about that. And there's you know, usually too much information for most people. They got friends and whatnot that are telling them by this or that. And pretty easy to get confused. But a good approach is to first thing determine how much money you're going to put into a rod, or if you're buying a rod and reel specifically, to go ahead and factor in how much you're going to you know put into it for the whole outfit and then try to put a little more money into the rod. The rod being what you're going to learn to cast with, you'll accelerate your pace with a better rod more often than not. So it's more important to have a better rod than it is to have a great reel. So I would definitely try to apportion a little bit more money towards the rod. Uh, still leaving enough, enough money for a good fly line as well because that's equally important. Um, once you've determined what that price range is, it's a good idea to then figure out what you're going to do with the rod, obviously. You need to determine what kind of fishing you're going to do. And rods come in a variety of sizes, generally from 1 to 15 are the, you know, the standard sizes. And depending on what you do fishing-wise, it'll determine that. If uh, you're doing a lot of freshwater trout fishing, a 5 weight would be the most popular. If you did it in a lot of small stream settings, maybe a 4 weight, or if you did a lot of big open water, maybe a 6 weight. Uh, if you're doing inshore salt water, generally an 8 weight or a 9 weight is the most popular. You can do a lot of different stuff with that. If you're fishing on windier conditions a lot or bigger flies, the 9 weight probably having a preference. Or if you're fishing um, you know, calmer days, maybe even down to a 7 weight a lot. Uh, particularly if you fish like uh, bonefish or something like that in the Bahamas where you're throwing a lot of smaller flies, you may go that route. So once you've determined the price range that you're looking at and then the size that you really want to target, you know, the best answer is to cast a variety of rods within your budget, within your price range. Uh, most manufacturers, you know, have several different price ranges that will fit your, you know, fit your, your budget. So always good to cast it first. To just buy one off the shelf because of how it looks or how somebody else tells you it cast is probably not a good idea. You really want to put it in your hands and cast it because not everybody casts the same and what feels good to you is not necessarily what feels good to somebody else. So you really want to at least lay hands on it and try to cast it if you can. Most people put too much emphasis on going out and trying to cast a rod as far as they can which isn't realistic in most fishing conditions. Most of the time you're fishing, you really aren't throwing it your maximum distance most of the time. If you're, let's say, someone going to go catch redfish, you're going to probably make a lot of casts in a 30 to 50 foot range. So you want to make sure you make a lot of casts that make the rod feel the way you want it to and give you some proper feedback within that distance, not necessarily throwing it how far you can throw it. It's always a good idea to have some sort of lessons or, or you know have some abilities before you invest a lot of money into a rod as well so it, it's not a bad idea to go about this by taking lessons and oftentimes an instructor can you know in the process of that let you try several different rods out and f get a feel for that as well another consideration would be warranty most of the rods today have a lifetime warranty and that does give some companies, like some of the more established companies, say a Sage or a Loomis, some advantages because not only do they have the warranties, but they also have been around a long time, their track record. So, you know, a warranty is only good as long as the company is still viable. So, another consideration.